The authorities have now recovered the body of the pilot. Right now, crews pulling the plane wreckage out of that house. The plane went down in the colonial section of Woodbridge yesterday morning and burst into flames. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates is live there this afternoon with new details. Tony. Good afternoon, Sandra and David. The uh, families that lived in those three homes that were affected by this crash are now resettled. They're with family or they're in hotels. No doubt this afternoon counting their blessings. In the meantime, the NTSB is overseeing this investigation into the crash. And also, the community of Woodbridge is stepping up and taking care of these families. They pulled out a giant piece of the fuselage. Uh, a very big piece was uh, being hoisted by the cranes. The work continues to retrieve the wreckage from 84 Berkeley Avenue. The body of the pilot, 74-year-old cardiologist Dr. Michael Schloss, was taken from the debris last night. The county coroner will determine the cause of death as the NTSB tries to figure out what caused the Florida doctor's twin-engine plane to crash yesterday morning. At this point in time, we have no information that there was a distress call made from the pilot. This morning, neighbors are still coming to terms with the accident in this quiet neighborhood. To me now, uh, it's just, it's life changing. I mean, thank God everybody is okay. I mean, it could have easily been me. I was here and it puts things, life in perspective. The family that lived in the home destroyed by the crash released a statement offering condolences to the pilot's family, expressing gratitude that none of their neighbors were injured and asking for privacy. Home video shows the plane moments before the crash, just as witnesses described its abnormal descent. I, I saw this thing coming in, like wing up, wing down, and he's got a, for a little plane, he had a pretty wide wingspan, about maybe 100 feet above the house, just like roaring in, and then boom. Three homes in all were damaged by the ensuing fire this morning. Donations are pouring in to help the families recover. We are accepting uh, cash donations, check donations made out to the Woodbridge Community Charity Fund, which is a, a 501c3 tax exempt organization, or gift cards uh, to any major outlet. Uh, the, just about every major store is around Woodbridge, so any major gift card would work. And already, just over 24 hours after this crash happened yesterday, more than $10,000 have already been raised. We will be out here all day to get any updates from the NTSB investigation and, of course, the fundraising efforts going on to help these families out.